Welcome everybody, welcome back to Mr. B Clothing at 1995 Northwest 86th Street in Clive. We're here week two for Sitzman's Picks as, as my friend Tim Sitzman here goes through and gives us his predictions for the 2014 Iowa State football season. Uh, it's kind of like the Masters Golf Tournament, Tim. This is a tradition unlike any other. We it, love doing this. We sure do, and you know, it's it's funny. I, we love the weather change in Iowa. That's why I think we live here. But yep, yep. It's beautiful outside, it's hot, it's humid, and I'm a clother. I like to sell clothes for the season. I'm waiting for that first or second or third football game when you got to put a jacket on at night and you got to wrap a little scarf yeah. around your head and it, when it's cold out there and the, the snap is crisp and everybody's out there and we're we're coming to that. Yeah, when do we get to fall clothing season? You know, yeah. it starts it starts you know funny about that. Everybody asks that in the heat of the, the hottest part of the year, we're getting the coldest weather yeah. clothing. Yeah. We get the winter clothing in July, and we get the, the spring clothing in January and February. So, what's going to be what's going to be the style, the, the 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 big thing coming up this fall? Anything in particular? No, it's it's still a it's still it starts changing a little bit in color. We're, we're if you look around our store today, we're lots of bright yellows mm -hmm. and bright oranges and bright greens and those kinds of colors and what they do is take the same palette but they they tone it down for more of a fall a, deep, okay. a deeper green a rustier orange a, a uh a yellow that goes into gold i don't like to use gold but it's cardinal and gold, cardinal not, and not, gold. not black and gold it's cardinal, cardinal and gold, gold. and it's so the, it gets into those fall you know you know more warm kind of colors and and uh I think that uh, when we when we talk about the predictions for this coming season, we're in the heat of the se in, in of our year, mm -hmm. the hottest time, the humid time, but we're going to get to those crisp nights and those fun. Uh, uh, do we have a night game on the schedule, Chris? Not yet, but the, what they'll do, Tim, is they the Big Twelve. The way it sets up is they don't put times on okay. there until two weeks before. You know, I remember the upset we had uh, against Oklahoma State at night and how nice that was. Uh, I, I wasn't at that game, but certainly watched it. And, was uh, excited for two days afterward. What, yeah. a, what a win it was for uh, all you fanatics! Boy. A, we have to have those memories. That's what keeps us alive. I didn't, I didn't go to bed that night. No, it was very it was I fantastic. Didn't, I didn't go to bed. I stayed up and watched Paul Rhodes lead off College Game Day the next right. day. And then I took about an hour snooze before the eleven o'clock game. It was around. it was incredible, and, yeah. you know. And, and as we get into the season, it's fun to have those memories. But uh, those are just memories. Let's well, go forward. Perhaps they can make a memory on September sixth. Is Kansas State comes to town. Now, I teased it on last week's video. Tim, I think this is without question the biggest game of the season for Iowa State. I actually uh, I like Iowa State getting Kansas State here because my point, and maybe it's maybe it's a little far-fetched, I don't know, but I think it's fairly valid, and I've gotten some decent feedback on it. I think if you're going to play a Kansas State in a, in a program with as many junior college prospects as they bring in every year, I feel like they're a little more ripe to get beat in September, as opposed to when they've had the opportunity to oh, gel, there's no question a little about bit. it. Yeah, so I, I mean, you know who what? Do they open up with who, who's, who's the team? Kansas State's got uh, like Louisiana Lafayette or okay. somebody like that. Yeah. But then, you know, two weeks after this game, they have Auburn. Wow. Okay, so it could be a little bit of a look ahead for Kansas State. Now, listen, Iowa State's not going to be favored in this game. Kansas State should be the favorite in this football game, but. I, what Iowa State does have going for it, what I outlined with the junior college, the look-ahead factor, three, Iowa State's just playing do against Kansas State. They play them well every year. Sands last year. Iowa State didn't play many people well last year. But the point is, I, I, I don't know if I'll pick a win here, but I do like where this is scheduled. I think Iowa State actually catches a break here. Well, you know, they're going to need some breaks in this particular game, and I know Coach Schneider's a... He's a he's a master. Of Ooh, he's, he, he's great. He, he knows how to he knows how to bring the right people in to put in the right positions. That's why his record and what he's done at Kansas State. I don't need to talk about yeah, it. We uh, all know he's that. One we of all the all time greats. It's kind of what Paul Rhodes is starting to do at at, at ISU, and we're we're happy we have Paul. But what we have to do is we have to have an upset or two in the season. I've talked about that last week. Mm -hmm. I think this is the upset of the season. I think this is the upset of the season. It's a seven point win at the last quarter. They score a touchdown. Do you have any win. idea how many Cyclone fans you just made happy with I, that prediction? I, you know, I've did this in the past, and I've had Kansas and Kansas State fans hate me. Remember? <laughs> you have. I, they, we they we got some come, heat. We caught some heat from the, Kansas State fans. They want to come to the store and beat me up, so yeah. please. Welcome uh, to the world of the Internet, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> All I want to do is tell you I, I, I love the Cyclones. I want them to win. love Paul Rhodes. He's been a friend of mine for a long, long time, and, and I wish him nothing but the best. 
after Kansas State leaves Iowa State uh, at Stadium, I don't care if they win or lose. I, I just want this win. <laughs> but it was. It was Kansas yeah, State yeah, fans. Yeah. A couple years ago, they so got a little All heated. you Kansas State fans, all you Wildcat fans, forget, hey, forget, Tim, forget, forget about Tim's it. Tim's got purple shirts here. <laughs> Absolutely. He'll sell you his gear. But, uh, I, you know, I have to root for the, the for the clones. All right. Uh, so, Tim, that's interesting. You have Iowa State going 2-0. and I'd have them 2-0. and uh, we'll talk about the third game when they go to Iowa City. This is going to be spent energy, and we'll just see what happens because Iowa's yeah. going through a couple cupcakes, and yep. we'll just see what happens in Iowa City. Yeah. But we'll we'll talk about that the right. next week. The Hawks are all feasted up on cupcakes at this point, and and, uh, and it appears it appears they have a pretty good uh, pretty good uh, team coming back. So it'll be fun to see that game. It's always I think it's become a rivalry, and I yeah. think I think. Uh, even uh, Dan McCartney and Paul Rhodes have continued that rivalry over at Iowa City, and it's good. Absolutely. It's absolutely fun. All right. He's Tim Sitzman. I'm Chris Williams. Tim's got the clones going 2-0 and to start the season. Uh, will they go 3-0? and Battle for the Cyhawk will be the next game we preview here at CycloneFanatic.com. Well, Tim. I look forward to predicting that Iowa State game. Abs- this, we always, week. It's fun. We always do. Yeah. He's Tim. I'm Chris. Come on down to 1995 Northwest 86th Street in Clive. So long.